When scientists and the ancestors start saying the same thing, you know something bigger is going on. And for centuries, our ancestors across cultures have said reality is more than what we see. The Vedas of India describe the universe as Maya, an illusion, a play of consciousness. In Kemet, the ancients spoke of the Ka and Ba, energies beyond the physical body. Even the Taoists said the visible world is just the surface of a deeper current, the Tao. Now, fast forward to modern science. Erwin Schrödinger, pioneer of quantum mechanics, once wrote, Consciousness is a singular knowing of itself. There is only one mind. That sounds almost identical to the Upanishad saying, The self is one, all-pervading, eternal. Here's another. Carl Jung, diving into psychology, found the collective unconscious, shared archetypes and symbols that bubble up in dreams across cultures. Our ancestors have been mapping that territory for millennia, calling it the astral, the unseen, the ancestral realm. Science, without meaning to, is circling back to what the ancients already knew. We aren't separate. We're threads in a web of consciousness. So what does that mean for you? It means when you meditate, when you feel synchronicities, when you catch visions, it's not random brain noise. You're tuning into the same current our ancestors accessed thousands of years ago, the same current science now keeps stumbling over with equations. And here's where it gets real. If our ancestors and scientists agree, then maybe the illusion of separation was the lie all along.